वेलकम टू पार्ट फोर ऑफ द सीरीज आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज ऑफ दिस सीरीज जस्ट बिफोर द डे ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी फ्रेश इन योर माइंड और राइट दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू रियल टाइम इंटीग्रेशन दिस शुड बी नो ब्रेनर इफ यू सी की वर्ड्स लाइक रियल टाइम इंटीग्रेशन दैन स्ट्रेट अवे मार्क द आंसर एज कनेक्ट एंड मूव फॉरवर्ड हिंस विदाउट इवन लुकिंग एट अदर ऑप्शन विच आर एब्सोलूटली डिस्ट्रैक्टर्स वील कीप ऑप्शन ई एंड रिजेक्ट द रेस्ट एंड इफ यू लुक एट द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन that is connectors are real time integration so we got our answer we'll log this all right we have another trick question and this is related to multiple redundant defense into system whenever you see keywords such as multiple redundant defense into systems or multiple layers of defense think about defense in depth apart from option b that is defense in depth rest options don't even exist with regard to cyber security or azure hence we'll reject all options except option b and if you look at this documentation that is cyber security principle defense in depth the idea of building multiple redundant defenses into systems and if you look at this diagram in this official documentation clearly mentioned and beautifully described defense in depth you can have a look at it and in the interest of time we'll log b as a correct answer for this all right this question is related to microsoft defender from exam standpoint you got to remember the features or capabilities of microsoft defender for endpoints just remember p2 includes all features including capabilities of microsoft defender for endpoint p1 unlike az 500 which you don't need hands on experience but just got to remember the capabilities as per sc 900 let's look at option a that is threat and vulnerability management since microsoft defender for endpoint is related with threats this can be the potential answer we'll keep this option aside since we need two correct answer let's look at option b and c together microsoft defender is not related to encryption instead it's more related to threats hence we can reject option b and c together let's look at option d that is endpoint detection and response let's say for option d i'm not sure about the answer but still we managed to get this by the process of elimination and here's a high level diagram for microsoft defender for endpoints though there are more capabilities for ms defender but for sc900 you just got to remember the basics that is the highlighted ones which i have highlighted in yellow if you are preparing for az500 then i recommend you to go through this entire documentation because this might come in handy and in the interest of time we'll log a and d as a correct answer for this all right this is a fill in the blanks and it's related to federation let's look at option a that is conditional access policies conditional access is related to if else doesn't look good we'll reject this option let's look at option b that is site to site vpn site to site vpn connection can be used to mount azure file shares from on prem network without sending data over open internet why doesn't fit with federation will reject this as well let's look at option c that is domains collection of domains looks good since federation is all about trust we'll keep this option aside for the timing let's look at option d still that is azure ed connect ed connect is a synchronization tool that connects local on prem active directory with o365 azure active directory doesn't look good here we'll reject this and if you look at the official documentation federation is a collection of domains this was the answer that have a stabilized trust you got to remember this the level of trust may vary but typically includes authentication and almost always authorization will lock c as the correct answer if you like the way i explain please hit the thumbs up button because a lot of hard work goes in behind the scenes while making these videos and i am doing everything for free just because of your love and support all right this question is related to identity let's look at option a that is federation federation is related to trust in the question there is no mention of trust hence we can reject option a let's look at option b that is service principle service principle can be the potential answer as application registered through azure portal are associated with service principle and application object automatically hence we'll keep this option aside let's look at option c that is azure ad identity protection azure ad identity protection keeps informed about suspicious user and sign in behaviors this seems just a distractor because the question is something else let's look at the last option that is azure sentinel sentinel is totally off topic as it's related to security which is ai based and also cloud native siem based seems incorrect we'll reject this as well and if you look at the official documentation that is when you have application hosted services or automated tools that needs to access or modify resources you can create an identity for the app this identity is known as service principle 
we got our answer and we'll log this. All right, this is another trick question and it's related to XDR. Whenever you see keywords such as XDR, the chances of Microsoft 365 Defender as the answer is very high. Since we have it in option A, hence we'll keep this and reject the rest of the options which are just distractors. And if you look at the official documentation, as a part of this announcement, we are unifying all XDR technologies under Microsoft Defender brand. Hence, we got our answer, we'll lock A as the correct answer for this. All right, this question is related to Windows Biometric and it's related to Windows Hello. Very interesting topic and included in the latest syllabus as well. We got to be prepared about this. Let's look at option A, B and C that is Azure Files, Azure Tables and Azure Blob together. These are on the cloud, right? Biometric data is never sent to external device or servers. Only option D is the odd one out that is local device only. Hence we can reject the rest option since the question is demanding just one answer and therefore one odd one out that is local device only can fit the correct answer. We'll look at the official documentation. It's written Windows stores biometric data that is used to implement Windows Hello securely on the local device only. We got our answer and we'll log this. Okay, this question is related to hybrid identity. Let's look at option A that is Azure Sentinel. Sentinel is AI based and security related service. This will not help you to achieve hybrid identity goals. Hence, this is an incorrect choice. Let's look at option B that is AD Connect. Whenever you see keywords like identity goals or hybrid identity and phases related to syncing, then Azure AD Connect should strike in your mind. We'll keep this option aside for the timing. Let's look at option C that is identity protection. Identity protection is associated with risk dissection and remediation. The question is about syncing identities, right? Hence we can reject this. Let's look at the last option that is Azure application proxy. Application proxy is used for authenticating front end to secure remote access for web applications hosted on-prem. Seems just a distractor will reject this. And if you look at the official documentation, AD Connect, that is, it is meant for stabilizing hybrid identity goals. We got our answer and we'll log this. All right, this question is a quick refresher from part one of this series. We have covered a similar question in part one. If you are having trouble answering this one, then I highly recommend you to go through part one. We will jump straight on to the answer. If you look at this word that is diaphragm and the question is asking about after the govern phase, that is this one, the letter G. That is after the letter G, M letter comes. Since M is related to manage, we'll keep manage as the correct answer and reject the rest because these are incorrect answers. And if you look at the official documentation as well, this is arranged in the ascending order. The last phase is the manage. Question was asked about govern and hence manage is the correct answer and we'll lock D as the correct answer for this. All right, this question is true and false based and it's related to active directory. Let's look at the statement one. Multiple roles can be assigned to an Active Directory user. Seems true. Let's say your manager can be a part of development team as well as operations team and can have multiple roles. So this option seems to be true. We'll mark this as yes. Let's look at statement B. That is user administrator is a role in Azure Active Directory. Looks good as user administrator role exists which can manage all aspects of user and groups including resetting password for limited admins. We'll mark this as true as well. Let's look at the last statement that is least privileged role should not okay, be assigned in Azure Active Directory. This not word doesn't fit. Let's say if a person needs access to a particular door, it's wise not to hand over the keys for the entire house. That's called least privileged principle in layman terms. Seems false as the statement is written just the reverse. Hence, we can mark this as false. Please subscribe and press the bell icon and select all notification because I regularly upload videos related to high paying ID certification which will boost your IT career. 